Greetings citizens of the world. We are anonymous. Now, that Trump won the presidency. Now it's time for we the people to apply political pressure at every level of government, to make sure that he does what he promised, and that populism continues to spread and intensify at every level of American society. The globalists view this new powerful populism that has emerged as a vicious enemy that will destroy them unless stopped. This is an accurate appraisal and their chances of stopping it now are pretty slim. Efforts by the globalists to do so will surely create massive backlash and blowback and only intensify the emerging populism and the speed of its emergence. If Trump turns out that he does not keep his promises to the American people as some fear, as an example yesterday he made a speech saying he was honored to have Hillary Clinton, in attendance and he had great respect for her, maybe this is the first sign in Trump backpaddling whatever happened to she should be in jail. Nevertheless, we the people can still continue our new wave of populism and eventually create enough political pressure to obtain the changes we need. It may be more difficult and take longer but thanks to the internet, the American populism will not go away but will continue to grow rapidly by leaps and bounds. It's necessary for our nation's survival as a republic that we must all work together collectively to make certain that the Illuminati bankers are booted from America and no longer allowed to parasitize it. The current American system has worked out very well for the top 1% and their close associates whom they keep well supplied with money, status and a lavish lifestyle. But it has failed at least 80% of the rest, and the middle class has been blind decided by a self-serving Congress and presidents, and is shrinking rapidly into poverty that was never expected. The top 1% had to hijack the American government at all levels and corrupt society to obtain the level of control and asset stripping necessary to feed their lavish lifestyles. And sadly we now know for certain that the 1% has been stacking the US Congress, and using it and their typically bought and appointed presidents to institute a massive deconstruction of America the Republic. Almost every member of the US Congress has been bought off or coerced one way or another and is not representing the interest of we the people, but only their own interest and the top 1% they truly serve for vast rewards. In order to do this they have bought off almost every member of the US Congress, most high officials, and instituted the USG policy of free trade and globalization in order to transform American workers into their serfs and slaves. The top 1% has stacked the US Congress, with their stooges and do fuses, and manipulated them to do the 1%'s bidding. This includes exporting heavy manufacturing and industry, out of America to third world nations with incredibly low labor rates. This has allowed them to sell cheap goods inside the USA, and keep we the people satiated while they globalize us and transform America into a poor third world nation. This is all part of an age-old plan of the Rothschild banksters, to globalize the world and from a new world order. This globalization, free trade process has actually increased the stock earnings of the top 1%. While it has rapidly diminished the American middle class, most of whom are hanging on for dear life, one paycheck out of the street. We are anonymous.